Hello everyone, and welcome to Oban Sewer, a game by the creators of, and in fact set in the same universe as Infra. Now apparently this came out years ago, I have no idea how it flew under my radar because Infra is one of my favorite games ever. I mean, it had exploration, it had conspiracies, it had intrigue, it had such a unique sense of humor to it, and there was just so much there for us to unravel or miss at our own pace. Now that game used the premise of exploration and, well, infrastructure inspection to reveal a story about the corruption that goes on at the high levels of this city, and we also got a very good look at how it affects the people on the lowest end, the people who have nothing to do with the greater ambitions, but are totally screwed over and live in squalor as a result. Now in this game, we sort of get to experience that firsthand, playing as the property manager of a rundown tenement in the Oban Sewer District. And so, while it's got a very different style of gameplay, I'm wondering if some of those same themes and even some of the same ideas aren't going to be present. Uh, thank you to the developers for being kind enough to provide me with the key for this game, which has just been freshly revamped, so this is all freshly updated and new as of 2023. And then let's get started. Uh, first name and last name? Hmm. Uh, there we go. Let's make basically me. Uh, skip intro. No, we will not do that. Four, three, five, three. Okay, this is not the intro I expected. Oh, it was just, uh, I thought we were flying over like the forest, but look at that. Oh, the sound of that siren echoing over this desolate landscape. This is almost apocalyptic. This is not what I expected to see in the opening to a property management sim. Hello? Am I in the right place? Why is it so dark in here? I brought the red ones and... Hello? Anyone? I brought the red ones... The city of Stahlberg has made great progress in dealing with its homeless crisis. Due to recent efforts to relocate all homeless individuals to the district of Open Sewer, locally known as Open Sewer. Unfortunately, the Open Sewer area has been ravaged by some kind of fungal disease. Is that that glowing red stuff? Can't be a coincidence that we saw a whole lot of overturned barrels in the intro. The disease is believed to be caused by green glowing mushrooms found all over the district. Now the government is planning to completely eradicate these mushrooms from the city. All individuals who have been diagnosed with a fungal disease have been evacuated to a quarantined area within Oban Sewer. Oh, I'm sure we'll get the best treatment money can't buy, as researchers are still trying to find a cure. The massive influx of new residents has created a major housing shortage in Oban Sewer. The 
reports of violence, famine, poor hygiene, alcohol-related problems, and various diseases from locals are suffering frequently. Um, I... Entering or leaving the quarantine area is strictly forbidden. When you are at the bottom, the only way is up. Well, I'd like to think I can make that a reality as your new property manager. Oh, this is already- okay, this is surprising me in a lot of ways already. This is... much darker than I was expecting. Is what we were seeing our eventual fate? 4026. Hmm, but graphically, this does not look like Infra, which was actually on the Source Engine. Uh, this is more of like a almost faux PS1 look. Uh, we're under observation. Tab brings up our menu. We've got our tools, our backpack. Uh, but none of this stuff is available just yet. Hmm. So this is our job interview, eh? We have to ask a few questions for your own safety. Some of these questions are personal. This information is important for finding a cure for fungal disease. Are you ready? I'm ready. One of our choices was, I have no reason to be here, let me out. Was I voluntold to do this job? Uh... Oh, we have to choose our... We have to choose our... Traits, like Project Zomboid or something. So right off the bat, we're pretty much guaranteed to have some kind of addiction issue. Uh, but if we go for just, like, fungal disease... But if we go for just, like, filthy poor, we end... So we're basically guaranteed to have some kind of addiction. It's just a matter of picking our poison. I'm thinking we go for random addiction. No, maybe alcohol would be best because they're the lowest values and we can maybe reverse it. Uh, but we can get, we can get sick. Uh, all these choices may have consequences in the future. Let's just say I'm alone. I'm trying not to have anyone else involved that could potentially get hurt. Uh, do you have anyone who could pose a risk to you? Uh, let's say a crazy neighbor. Why not make it a Why not make it a horror game? Do you feel dizzy sometimes? Oh no, we could end up with more points into our addictions. Smoking mushrooms. Have you seen any hallucinations or something strange that has drawn your attention? The crazy neighbor is a hallucination, and now that he's closer, we can see that he's a crazy clown. That's all. So, you're going to get this unfinished block of flats. There has to be something wrong with this. Whatever. You get the whole... You get the whole building. It's yours. Its location should be marked on the map in front of you. Do you have any questions? A lot. A lot of questions. Uh, what am I supposed to do with that tenement? Maybe you should go there and investigate it first. It's not really our job to say what you should do with it. It's funny, the first game, it was dystopian, but in a much more mundane way here, when we actually have to live it, it's really fleshing out what this world is actually like. Uh, why are you giving it to me? We don't have an answer for that, because we don't decide these things. But I, we, believe it's a mistake. 
So you're not the puppet masters. Because there's currently a severe shortage of vacant apartments. And there are many people without a home. Can you tell me something about Open Sewer? There are a few things that would be good to know. First of all, they have their own money called Open Sewer Coins, or simply OC. Okay, so OC is the currency. Second, Open Sewer is full of sick and unique people. So be careful. And finally, stay away from green mushrooms. Can I go now? You can go. But before that, be sure to take your package with you. We'll send it to you in a moment. Wait at the vending machine. Okay, so this is very interesting. I almost expected, like, a lighthearted, almost meme like, game about poverty. Uh, tasks. Interviewers told you that you got an abandoned and unfinished tenement. It's probably in poor condition. They also gave you a map where it's marked. Uh, they recommend to examine it first and then decide what to do with it. And we can take our package. Uh, so if we check our inventory, we have a bunch of food, a bunch of medical supplies, and a whole bunch of other stuff as well. And we enter the first day of the rest of our life. Ooh. Oh, wow, never mind. This is actually... The textures are basic, but this is actually quite graphically extensive. Hmm, alright. Uh, well, let's meet the residents. Tatiana Gupnikova. Excuse me, sir. Are you the last one to come through the border? Uh, I, I'm really annoyed with how this text, like, slowly creeps up like that. It's so difficult to read out loud. My husband was supposed to come here, but I haven't heard anything about him. I'm starting to get worried. It's been tough without him. You seem to be alone too. Do you any do you know anyone who lives here? Uh no. I'm alone and I will always be alone. Well, that's a bit personal. Not really. Well, it's a good thing that none of your relatives have ended up here. Anyway, you must be hungry. You should get some pea soup from the aid organization. It was called Redemption... something. You can't miss that big bazaar sign. And it's right next to it. I also recommend collecting bottles. There's a bottle return machine inside O Market. You get a few coins. That's how I started until I got a job. If you don't have a place to sleep, there's cheap there's a cheap hostel in Kohala building. It's not wise to sleep on these streets. You could get robbed, or worse, in your sleep. I hope these tips will help you. Also, you might be able to get some good advice from others, too. Alright, well, thank you. Alright, so there's the bazaar over there. And yeah, here we are in the slums. About to become a slum lord. Uh, now, we briefly ended up here during one segment of Infra, however, I'm not going to talk too much about whatever leftover memories I have from that game, uh, because I do actually really, really want to do a playthrough of it on the channel next year. Uh, but before I get to know any of you and your really frustrating dialogue, and not that the dialogue is frustrating, just the way it uh, comes across, maybe there's a way to click and get it all on screen at once, but... We should be heading to the tenement itself and see where we're getting settled. Now, according to the map, it should be just behind this building. Uh, what is this? Some kind of little lantern? Oh, there... Looks like they're actually using these glowing mushrooms as a source of light for the lanterns. 
Ah, oh, this is so cool. It looks properly lived in. It's not just run down. And you can see, like, all the little makeshift amenities that these people use to sort of make this at least somewhat livable with the resources they have. Oh, there's a bridge toll. Uh, notice. Due to constant threats, I no longer take the entrance fee myself. Contact this number if you have problems with payment or anything else related to the bridge. P.S. Don't contact me if you just want to threaten me, even if it's related to the bridge. P.P.S. Don't even think about calling me if you want to sell me air fresheners. Slightly used long johns or anything else that I would never want. Go sell your wretched garbage to someone else who might appreciate them. Alright, so the tenement should be that building over yonder. And maybe... It's also kind of cool how we are in charge of that tenement, but we are in no way in charge of this district. So it's never going to make us feel powerful and like we're on top here, like we're the man. They don't even have us be the owner. It's literally an assigned position. Redemption Militia. Well, somebody's trying. And I suppose there's a religious angle to it as well. Howdy, bud. You're literally belching out your dialogue. How can I help you today? Are you here to give a donation or just looking for information? Uh, I'm interested in learning about your work. Yep. <coughs> Well, you've come to the right place. Our motto is preach prayers and pea soup. We believe that by spreading the word of the Lord and offering spiritual guidance, we can provide solace to those in need. You probably heard rumors about what's going on around here. Anyway, there's the nourishment of body and soul, exemplified by our beloved pea soup. Speaking of which, we're serving some delicious pea soup outside every day. You should try it if you haven't already. I must admit, I have a soft spot for pea soup. It's quite tasty. Sure, I'll give it a try. You'll love it. Burp. <laughs> I love how the punctuation is after the burp. Okay, well, let's give it a shot then. Oh, hey! Are you hungry? We've got some hot pea soup here. Would you like a bowl? Uh, yes please. Well, you know, there's more to life than just food. Uh, yep, here's the pitch. You need more than just physical sustenance. You need spiritual nourishment too. To truly savor this pea soup, you must pray for it. Uh... <sighs> Sounds good? Let's bow our heads for a moment and pray. Thank you for joining me. Here's your pea soup. Enjoy. And may it nourish your body and soul. Also, take this. If you want to make your own pea soup. Ah, so we got the recipe. Well, that's good. Choke's on you. I wasn't praying. I was thinking about the pea soup. Now, we can eat that. Uh, taste good. Uh, perishable. Nutrients 35. Okay, so how do we know... How do we know if we're hungry or not? Oh, and it's got a value of 10 OC. Oh, num num num. And bowel and bladder go up. Wait, how do we see our needs? I can't actually read what that says. Oh, 10. Okay, so it's no big deal. All right, well, we are through. Uh, and there's a drainage ditch running literally through the middle of this place. Uh, danger, contaminated area. Wow, this place was literally itself quarantined. Well, it may not be much, but it's ours. 
Let's make this house a home. I've got a generator running right here. A whole ton of bagged biohazardous materials. And not bagged biohazardous materials. Oh my, this is... I've always seen games as... A, a way to give the player consequence-free experiences, and this is certainly going to be an experience. Look, they've even set up a little sauna by by the canal. See, I really don't think that this is going to be a rags-to-riches game. I think that this is going to be a game where we have to give it our all to just barely scrape by and make some really difficult choices. And from the look of it, maybe even do some investigating while we're at it. Well, let's have a look around. Oh, we have no flashlight. It's kind of dark in here. Well, we've got tools. Literally no furniture. This place looks almost like it's been burned through. Yeah, but that hasn't stopped the graffiti artists. Let's have a closer look. I'm just thinking that anything that's here can potentially be an asset. A uh, suitcase, so there is some looting. Uh, we can take these cans, potentially exchange them for money. Oh, that's the thing. In, in this situation, we've got to be on the lookout for everything. Let nothing go to waste. Uh, now I'm suffering from some alcohol withdrawal. This, this building is literally infested with the mushrooms still. I've got to find out if there's any way to remove those, or people are going to start to get sick. Uh, please don't tell me that people are going to be moving in, like, as it is. Because if so, this place is truly much, much worse than I imagined. Pipes, scrap, whole, all this stuff, all of this stuff is interactive. And a single ominous chair where we can sit and contemplate our horrible situation. It's one thing to live in poverty, it is simultaneously somewhat liberating and daunting to be in charge of uplifting this place. If that is our goal indeed, and not just to take the fall, to say so the government can say they're doing something. Uh, maybe we can break down this wall somehow. Open fridge. I will take all of these. Whole bunch in here. I will take all of that. And now my mushroom addiction is kicking in. And I imagine those addictions will get worse the longer we go. I just, I don't even know where to start. Yeah, I'm in charge of an abandoned building. That's plainly and simply the case. Oh, we can't even access the upper floors. The stairwell is out. Well, that's ludicrously unsafe, for one thing. But then again, what about this place isn't? Oh, we can open this tarp leading... Oh, I was gonna say to what will presumably be our room, but... Hey, bucko! I'm the new landlord. Well, that's being generous, but you get the idea. Get out of my home, you... Ugh. You're sick? I... Ugh. What do you want? Uh, this is my property now, so I have to talk to you. Your property? Do those rats give you this place? How dare they do it? So tell me. What do you want to talk about? I can beat you to leave. Can I pay? Can I pay you to leave? Oh, we're already dealing with squatters, and it's not even ours yet. Hey, you pay to me? You pay me to leave my home? No, this place is too important to me. Okay, so if we click continue prematurely, it'll just spill the whole thing out. Don't ask why you little. Don't ask why you little turnip. But I can help you renovate this place. What do you mean? They gave this building to you, Turniphead. So I'm gonna help you to renovate it. I know how things works here in Open Sewer. 
and you're a new turnip. I'll advise you on how to make things work here. Uh, sounds good, but what's in it for you? I mean, well, besides the fact that you live here, I get to live here for free. And you can also renovate the apartment for free, of course. Isn't that fair? I'll give my valuable information to you, and you will be happy. Fine. What should I do first? Good. Take this with you. It has floor plans of this building. Go talk to Samuel Jonathan and show him that blueprint. He's contract work business owner, and he probably can help you to renovate this building. And when you've done that, come talk to me. I feel this in my contaminated bones that this is going to work. And you will become a good turnip boy. Contaminated bones? Yeah, I was just joking. <laughs> I just have a bad cough because too much smoking. I have to go now. Wait, I think you should take that apartment from the first floor. You can renovate it, decorate it the way you want, and yeah, do whatever you want with it. Also, you need money. A lot. I heard that the Kahara Brothers Farm needs some help. You can go and ask for a job there, or you can just collect bottles, but I wouldn't think you'd make enough money from it. Understood? I understand. Good. And now, get out of here. I have to think about turnips and onions. Ah, wow, it's like a Russia simulator. Although the developers are Finnish. You know, I mentioned this in the credits for Alan Wake 2, if you stuck around for that, all three of you. Uh, that I feel like Finland is somewhat, like, overrepresented in my life right now. Okay, so now that we enter the first floor, we gain access to the building menu. Ah, so we can actually place things all over. Uh, we actually need items to remove the harmful elements. So we need disinfectant to get rid of those biohazard bags, to get rid of the mushrooms... Oh, can we potentially just take them? Hang on. So if we take that... Oh, we can. Oh, but that's not good for us. We don't want these things in our inventory. Uh, we bag them up. High potency. And they do have value. We have to bag all this stuff up ourselves and all the hazards that entails. Oh, it's like viscera cleanup detail, but on a much more uh, on a much more high stakes level. Every little piece of debris is ours to clean up. Everything has multiple uses. Uh, so we can see an overview of all the different statuses and utilities that are working or not working. Uh, currently, basically nothing is working. Uh, and we have no water, no power, no heat. And the facade is bare. But it looks like we do actually have a pretty wide range of upgrades we can apply. Okay, so it's free to leave. We only have to pay to get in. Uh, but he said... What did it say? We had to go to a certain building and talk to this contract guy. Hardware. Can you sell tools? Hello. I've got a wide range of tools and hardware. Whatever you need. Tools, nails, bricks, even some paint, rocks. I've got you covered. So, what do you need? Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, you've got tons. And I can presumably sell you some planks, which... Fuel for one hour. Truly everything has got a use here. Uh, we can actually get a lot of money for the bucket of paint. Uh, but I think I'm going to hold on to all my stuff until I get a better idea for where it's best used. I think in order to take care of our needs, we might have to go to the hostel and stay there. Uh, because there is currently nothing running in our actual apartment.
Ooh, batteries. That makes one pack of camera batteries. Uh, we can take all this. Yep, we're just uh, scavenging. This is us. This is the this is the top of the chain. Ooh, we got a bottle of disinfectant. We can use that to clean up somewhat. Uh, don't spread the fungal disease. Please sanitize. Ooh, there's a shop right here. Backyard police. You have a crime to report? Otherwise, leave me alone. Do you know the time? Uh, Tuesday at just before 6 o'clock. All right. Uh, so you are actually the law around here. Here's the former law around here. Let's try going into the shop. I've just realized the hand sticking out of that tub. What are you? Uh, well, dang it, that ain't the most horrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. You're literally like a mannequin, a glorified security camera. Uh, okay, how do I, how do I shop here? How do I sell here? I guess it's like a pawn shop? Seems like just about everywhere is nicer for what it's worth than where I came from. But yeah, this is pretty cool. There's like a lot of artistry here where nothing is just the space you'd expect. Everything feels like it's made from something else, you know? Which really reflects this sort of improvised nature of everything. Mr. Bag. Hello. What would you like to buy? Uh... What are you? Yes. What would you like to buy? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, what are you selling? Everything. Let me see. Uh, you sell furniture, apparently? Uh, but you've also got sewer fish. Painkillers, tools, batteries. Ah, uh, you've got it all. Can I sell you this stuff? Oh, you don't buy that. It's so all got to go to the return. Well, I'm hungry, thirsty, addicted. I have to use the bathroom. I'm tired. And I cannot figure out how to attend to any of those needs because I don't think I'm going to be doing it in my place until I visit that uh, until I visit that contractor who I cannot find. Wait. Oh, we can't. We can just use the uh, we can use the porta potties. Complete with sound effects. And we can open the door prematurely, so that's a thing. Literal beer vending machines. Alright, well, let's try it. Well, let's take it and drink it immediately. And I guess... Oh, does it go back into the return? Like, do we get something back for it? Yeah, let's take it. I'm not sure how that works. That would be kind of cool if, like, the machines themselves can take them back. Uh, but let's continue to explore our area. Getting through there. What do you sell? A uh, bag of... They sell these mushrooms that are in dire need of cleanup. And they're running all through our sewers, aren't they? Howdy, bud. You look like a Chillizart serial killer. Oh. Hello. Would you happen to know a place where I could get an apartment? I just got a job for, as a security guard, but I don't have an apartment yet. Can I rent you an apartment? Ah, I can do it here. Okay, well, I'm gonna wait a little bit. I mean, presumably we'll start making some money... Once we get tenants, but I don't feel like there's actually suitable living space yet. I mean, you know, even considering your current situation, it might actually be worse. Oh, this whole place is so vertical and so winding. Everything's built within everything else. Greenhouse. Greenhouse. And the rest is too dark to see.
I bet this place is operated by the farmer's market below. Hey there. Uh, speaking Finnish. Uh, sorry, but I don't understand you. What do you want? Uh, do you have any work? Yes, yes. Work or what was it? You can help me with vegetables and turnips. Well, I am turnip boy. It's easy. Just put some seeds to soil, or how was it, and let them grow. When they're done, just give them to me and I give you some cash or whatever it was. How do I start? Take some turnip seeds from the table, or where they were, or from the chest and put them in the soil, or whatever it was. This is so hard to read. There's plenty of room here to grow them. You can grow other plants, but you could start with, say, ten turnips. I only accept turnips and other plants that have been grown here in my greenhouse. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Great. Also, remember to keep the stove warm. Otherwise, the plants will die from the cold. There's a thermometer or something like that on the wall. Anyway, good luck or whatever. Oh, that's like how teenagers talk. Alright, so we gotta grab some seeds from the chest. Hmm, we can actually grab stuff from the dumpster, but if you'll notice, we have the ability to steal things. We can actually do what it takes to get by, if we decide to be a little less scrupulous. Okay, so let's say, turnip seeds owned, yes, but I want to use them. I mean, I was given permission. Turnip plant, okay, so they have to be in there, and then we access this menu. And so we plant all, plant six, take some more, and then plant in this one. All right, it, the, the mechanics are a little tough, but um, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. And I'm just assuming that over time these will grow. That furnace is burning. All right, I actually really do need some mushrooms right now. And I don't feel like spending the money to go over there yet. Huh. So far, this isn't even a this isn't even a tenement managing simulator. This is a poor simulator. Oh, and look, we can even see like the normal city and like skyscrapers off in the distance. All of it towering over us in the dark. Hey there. Okay, I'm gonna need a place to sleep. Uh, pod 14. Okay, these are wow. It's really not cheap, but I need it. Okay, just one night. Uh, I rented pod 8. Uh, but this place actually doesn't look so bad. I mean, this area is pretty cozy for what it is. And maybe it's the smell I should be worried about. Alright, well, I rented pod 8. Where's that? Uh. Is this mine? Ah, uh, never mind. I'm starting to see why this place is considered such a dumb... Well, let's sleep. It's both uncomfortable and unsafe. Do we have, like, a risk of being robbed in our sleep or something? Uh, we can't even... We can't even use the... Oh, can't even use the build mode to remove some of this trash. Well, let's cry ourselves to sleep on our first night in an open sewer. Okay, so we can fill this with water. Yeah, these menus, like, I'm gonna get used to them and I'm sure it'll be fine, but they are kinda dense to figure out at first. Now we can actually sleep. Oh, why is the sleeping sound so ominous and creepy? We're addicted to mushrooms, cigarettes, alcohol. We're fighting an uphill battle with ourselves, even before the place. 
And not to mention, because of our extreme poverty, we pretty much have to use every single resource available to us. Like, we have to make sure, after we rent a room, like, we gotta get our money's worth, we gotta get as much water from the sink as we possibly can. Well, it's morning now, and before we can do anything, we need cash. So let's head over to the sewer market and see just what we can do. Hey, I heard that you potentially have work for me. Yeah? I want to ask something. Don't ask. Okay, well, a nice friendly service here. I thought I could get a job here. I was promised work. Oh, we don't have a light. Oh, they really make us fight for everything. Well, we at least have a bunch for the bottle return. There we go. Glass bottles. But the freebies are gonna run out pretty soon. And that gets us 65 coins. And we gotta sit there and painfully wait for it to count it all out. But uh, at least that keeps us going for a little while longer. It at least pays for our night in the hostel. Oh, apparently this is Dikola building? Alright, not that the map would have shown me that, but I, I guess... I guess the place I need to enter is somewhere in here. Oh my god, you jump scared the crap out of me. Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, you and your little pet rat. Is your rat drinking from that bottle? Whatever, I'll just take that from you. And get going. Oh, well, there's a furniture store in here. Well, I found a, I found a box of matches here and, and I got some stuff. However, I read on the wiki, because uh, I'm going to definitely need it, that if you don't smoke or drink for a long time, you can actually kick those habits. So I think it's going to be pretty important to do both of those things very early on. Cheap rats for sale. There's a rat vending machine. We can get a rat, or we can get a glowing rat. Or simply rat meat of either variety. Yeah, this game's sense of humor is still intact. I actually do have to use this. Oh my god, I, every time I enter this building from a different angle, I get jump scared by something else. Uh, you can take what you want from here, but don't break the boxes or anything. Well, this is actually, this is poverty with significantly better uh, amenities. However, I believe we found our tenement contractor. Samuel Jonathan. yep, you're who we were looking for. Welcome, welcome. What's your name, newcomer? It's nice to meet you, Librarium. <laughs> what would you like today? Maybe... Tenement contract work? Of course you want tenement contract work. Why else would you be here? So, where's your apartment? Uh, it's an entire apartment building that needs renovation. Oh. Oh, oh you're excited about that. Why didn't you say that immediately? Oh man, you're not kidding, are you? Because you came to the right place, you happy tenement owner. Wow, those words have never been used together like that before. Okay, I have to calm my I have to calm my turnips. So you have the money to renovate your little building? Of course. Here, coffee for you, my dear customer. So, do you know how this works? No. Can you explain it? So, first you need to have enough money to pay the first installment. And also, we need some resources from you to start renovating the target you have chosen. You can put the collected resources in the tenement resources chest so you don't have to keep all the necessary materials in your inventory. Okay, so there's a main stock. Renovations can take days to complete. And once it is complete, you'll have to pay us the final payment. So my questions are, are you ready to start? What should I renovate first? That's a good question, my dear customer. 
Well, I'm worried about you making enough money, so I recommend you start with the walls of an apartment to get your first tenant. Also, it's worth looking at what kind of requirements people have for them to agree to move into an apartment. Alright, I do need a renovation. Uh, and you said that I should first start by renovating the walls of an apartment. So we don't have enough resources, but... Uh, oh, it's so expensive. And there's also... There, well, there's different types, I suppose. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. What about electricity? What do we need for that? A whole bunch. And look at all that money. 12000 minimum just to get this going. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Is that a blueprint? Wooden chest blueprint? Okay. I'm looking for our resident rat to see if he has anything to say to us now that we've, uh, now that we've gone and checked out the job in town. Because I'm really gonna need some advice since I can in no way come up with even the most basic of repairs. And I spoke to Jonathan. So, he probably agreed to help you with the renovation. It's a good start. When you started to renovate, something came to me and I'll give you a small reward. I have to... Okay, that doesn't really help me to figure out how I'm actually going to come up with this money. Alright, let's try and remove this because we've got disinfectant. We can get rid of that and that and that. This is in no way good for us. And the game lets us know that at every turn. Uh, can't take the mushrooms with us. Uh, that'll actually kind of be our personal supply for a little while. But we can at least get rid of the worst of it. <laughs> can't uncover the windows, it seems. And that's the last of our disinfectant, but we got rid of most of the bad stuff in what will become our apartment. There's our turnips. There we go. Uh, and now maybe we can start to make some sort of money. Uh, yeah, I have something for you. Thanks, buddy. And we get very little. 20 cucumbers, 10 peppers, and 30 potatoes. Okay, well, this just scaled up substantially. Okay, it won't let me plant the other stuff. So, oh, I see. Some things need to be in different soils, I guess. Uh, so, cucumbers in here. There we go. Yeah, I'm basically being driven mad under the weight of my needs, but I've got addictions that I'm trying to kick here. Uh, although I don't think that, uh, I don't think the mushrooms are quite as easy. So I think I'm gonna have to stick to that as my vice. So it seems like this is just open all the time anyway. So I think squatting might actually be like the way to go in this instance. Might be the best way to do this. Our only access to water. Uh, this is how we live. Maybe I should try only trying to kick one addiction at a time. Maybe that'll be better because this new this yeah this mental health Moodle is really really not wait. Constant deterioration takes away effectiveness and pleasures. Exceeded may meet with sudden self-harm and reckless behavior helplessly. Okay, what an implementation. Okay, so look. This is my third attempt at recording this game. I've put a few hours into it at this point, and I feel like I haven't gotten anywhere. And I've done some looking around, and it seems like that just kind of is the pace of the game. Now, the developers have expressed an interest in tweaking and fine-tuning everything. This is still very much in early access, and they're very receptive to criticism, it seems. However, for now, I'm just having a really difficult time getting into it, but I will say this. I see it. I see what they're doing here, and honestly, this is a survival game, 
that isn't just a spin-off. We're starting truly from nothing. And if we want to get to the top, I mean, that's the thing. We could potentially turn this place into a paradise, right? But as it stands, it's a burned out, moldy old building. We're almost literally having to steal just to get the basic necessities, not even for the basic necessities. And we have to do all of this while not only taking care of our own needs, but it actually introduces special needs. We have addictions that we have from the very start. Now, this isn't the first game to attempt to have addictions as a feature, but it's one of the only ones I've seen where you're practically guaranteed to start with at least one. And in that way, well, it really is a good poverty simulator, isn't it? I mean, because in real life, you don't play as a computer who doesn't actually feel any of their needs and is able to push through like a Terminator and just do only the most logical things. We don't have that benefit in life. And this is one of the only games I've seen that actually simulates that in a somewhat realistic way. Let's start taking this stuff away. I'm going to try and use that sawhorse over there to maybe uh, maybe engage with the crafting a little bit. Who knows, maybe we can get ourselves an actual bed to put this on. Maybe uh, we can sell some of this stuff at one of the local shops. Oh, and I've also used some of the local mushrooms. Uh, I'm very much operating on one, uh, one addiction at a time, just trying to let that uh, smoking go cold turkey. Not that I have a choice, because I can't find a lighter. Uh, but if we use the saw buck uh, and put put in this furniture parts. Ooh. Oh, I just can smoke them now. Okay, I didn't realize that was a possibility. Wow, somebody really does not want me getting back there. Uh, okay, what's going on through here? And let me just take all that from you. I've gotta, I've gotta eat. Uh, it's a bedroll inside a bedroll. Neat. Uh, oh, ba ba backyard police. Oh, uh, you didn't, you didn't see anything. Uh, let's be real. If you cared, you wouldn't be here. Uh, let's see if we can't sell some... Oh, I guess it's not open yet. Yeah, I have to say, this game is incredibly deep. I mean, it's not just an apartment manager. It's a poverty simulator. It's a survival game. And it's doing that thing where, even though it is an extreme example, it's taking advantage of the fact that games are able to through experience, make you see a perspective that you might not normally consider. All the foundations are there, and the difficulty is part of that. I just think it's a little difficult to access in the length of time that I can spend recording a single video. Look, they even, they even taunt you with, like, the possibility of riches. Everything around here is just designed to drag you down even more. Right, well, once again, visiting the bottle return. There's no way I'm thinking that I'm going to get the 12,000 that I need for the first apartment upgrade. But what if we don't have to? What I'm thinking right now is what if all we need to do is get our first tenant? What if, what if our building is better than just chilling in that alley? Owing sausage. Um, I'll take it, I suppose. Oh, wow. Moldy waste. And all this stuff is just around, huh? I'll tell you what, there's actually, ooh, real money. Alright, dumpster diving may actually be profitable. The sheet metal is worth quite a lot. Rags to riches doesn't even begin to cover what we're doing here. Oh, ow. Okay, I'm dead. Hmm. Uh, well, I guess let's load the... Let's load the autosave.
Yeah, I've I've put a few hours into this already, and w what I'm starting to realize is that there is simply no way in the course of a video I can even begin to penetrate this game. It clearly wants you to put like a ton of hours in. But what I'm thinking now is this is infra, right? Because this game is definitely its daddy's son. So why don't we start exploring it? Why don't we look around? Why don't we engage with the characters more? Oh, we are not really going to be able to get into this basement. We can't actually use the build mode anywhere but that first apartment yet. Hi, I'm, I'm me, and I'm Mr. Doorphone. Hmm. Well, that was an interaction. Oh, I love meeting new people. We can slaughter a rat that we found in the garbage. I think I'm gonna, I, th I think we're probably not that desperate yet, but it is a thing we can do. Ooh, and there's milk. It, it sort of trains you to see things a different way, I think. Treats you to see all this trash as bountiful resources that surround you. You know, the thing that's striking me the most as I look around here is that while the interactions with the characters are still pretty funny, like, it, it does retain that sense of humor, it nevertheless manages to take the overall situation seriously, which is quite a hard balance to strike, and it gives me a lot of faith in the developers that there is a vision for this game. Everything you see around here is something that hasn't been done for them. This is really this place is really to contain them. These are all things that they've done to try and make any situation livable. Because that is what people will do in any given situation. You can't be in crisis all the time. Life will find a way to go on. And just like, I'm here basically scrounging for anything I can get. All this stuff is worth something and it all adds up. And to the developer's credit, this is something that I probably wouldn't have engaged with as much if I had been doing the uh, tenement building mechanic the whole time. Anyway, I don't believe I've been down this way yet. Uh, oh wait. <laughs> now I can barely read that through the pixelation, but it appears to say, missing my sock. Wow, and they found the, they found the biggest piece of paper they could print that on, huh? Uh, ooh, what are you? Gatehouse. Nobody picking up. All right, well, that's the green light to go in. Hey man, what's this place? Your passport, please. What passport? You need a passport to enter the bazaar. Unfortunately, you'll have to wait because passports cannot be obtained at the moment. Have a good day. Or is it night now? Wow, this is... <laughs> are they making fun of the fact that you're here 24-7? Ooh, wait. What's down this alleyway? Oh, I think that's the trailer that's on the other side. We can't open that door, unfortunately. I uh, can't get through here. Is that a house built in to a piece of old pipe. Oh, look, it's got ventilation and everything. Adaptation, that's the name of the game. That is so cool. Ooh, we can go upstairs inside the inside the building. Oh, is this like a doctor? That would be good because my health is not doing amazing. Even this place is a dumb... Dr. Pena, MD ticket. Alright, I've taken a... Wow, they're actually having a... Wait. 
Well, that's good. I wonder if there can actually be like lines for healthcare. Hey, buddy. Welcome. Please, give me your turn number. Here you go. Uh, mental health, physical health, or fungal disease. Um, yeah, that's actually very expensive. Maybe I just, you know what, maybe I'll call you again when I'm dying. Oh, wow, this game is a real simulator in uncomfortable ways. And some lock picks and evil bear candy bag. A bag of bear shaped soft candies. Some nutrients, but more worth it to sell. Okay, so what can we get rid of? Paper trash, don't need you, I'll take you. Tell you what, if I were to do something crazy like buy an axe, could I maybe use that to tear down some of the barricades inside the apartment and examine some of these other these, those, those other rooms? I don't know, I'm just trying to try everything I can at this point. Oh, can we actually enter the sauna? Oh, we can. Can we use it? I assume this is part of our property. No, we can. Uh, we can use the barrel stove, put some firewood on it. I guess we don't have a way to light it, really. Oh, we do. Uh, and we can throw water, create steam. Oh, that is so cool. Gaben, please don't sue. Hmm, I wonder if this actually, like, helps our, uh, our, like, health. Probably increase the temperature. Yeah, we see that rising. Uh, I think... So, some might find it annoying that it's a life simulator on top of a management game. But I do think it adds, like, another layer to it. Even if it is a bit more of a grind than I can fit into this video. Because, uh, like I said before, all these management, like, sim-type games sort of treat stats as something that you can become like a min maxi automaton which isn't exactly realistic i think it's cool that you're struggling against your own needs and even though it probably needs a lot of balancing it's really treading ground that i don't know if any other game has really done before wow it is getting real hot in here we can equip the axe uh, maybe become an axe murderer while we're at it, or perhaps chop this thing? No. Oh, we can actually enter this graffiti-covered bus. And the things that function as a building when you've got nothing else. Hmm. Oh, it's a makeshift apartment. Yeah? Can I rent you an apartment? Uh, well, no, I actually know for a fact that I can't. Uh, oh. I'm starting to wonder, maybe the green sections indicate, like, something that they're okay with? Because it seems to change. And maybe the red sections are something that, no, they absolutely cannot live without? I'm not sure, but either way, it's saying apartment cannot be rented. Well, since we're exploring, I wonder what's up in the pharmacy. Maybe there is something we can take that doesn't cost 180 coins? Hi? Hi? I think somebody's sampling their own product. Are you a real person? What can I get for you? Uh, <laughs> I have a prescription. Give me drugs, and who are you? <laughs> None of your business. Can you give me drugs? Sorry, you need a prescription if you want them from here. Go and talk to the doctor if you feel that you need some stronger drugs. I recommend looking at what's on the shelves and if they could be of help to you. Okay... 
It's all so low res, I can't read the labels. Oh, I see. The stuff we can interact with is highlighted. Painkillers, fungicide. So there is a cure, they just don't want to give it to us. Uh, what are you... What? I can't see what that is. It's, there's a very small hitbox. Empty syringe. You can just buy syringes right off the shelf. And hand soap. And sleeping pills. Band-aids, bandages, oh, so there's basic medical supplies here as well. Disinfectant, which we can actually use to clear out our apartment. You guys. Ah oh, yes, I remember you from Infra. I'm glad to see some things carried over. Now as we've gone through there, I've noticed a lot of things like Lockpicks, we have the ability to steal, sneak up while people are sleeping, the various schedules that all these people are on. We have the ability to, maybe, because we I saw we could interact with that key card, we had the option to bribe the pharmacist. I think this game invites, like, unintended intended mechanics. It, it wants you to be a scoundrel about it. Crime, maybe, really does pay, if you can get good at it in this game. Look at that. I've just realized, over all of this, is the towering sign of the beer company that basically keeps us all simultaneously going and in this state. Uh, I need some rest. Uh, I'm going to play a little bit longer, but at this point I've already put over like three hours into this game and I just don't feel like I've gotten anywhere. So I'm certainly open to returning sometime in the future and I think this game has incredible potential. There's already enormous depth and it's really doing a lot with its themes. It's in a tough spot because I, I think it's supposed to be a bit of a grind to some extent, uh, but I do think that in its current state it'll probably scare a lot of people off. Because this is, right now, a game that, even if it is in service to the themes, you very much have to persevere through, I think. And most people are not going to persevere through a game, you know? Most people are going to say, oh, this is demanding a huge amount out of me, I'll go do something else. So I don't know, the devs have talked about potentially adding difficulty settings so that uh, those who are willing to push through it can get the experience that's intended, uh, and those who just kind of want to see it through and play a management game will be able to do that as well. I get the feeling that as soon as we can get even one tenant in that building, that the cash will start rolling in and we can probably start making much quicker progress. I just think there's like a huge cliff, a huge barrier to entry to not only reach the funds and all the different crafting materials we need to get there, but also to gather the knowledge to get there. I mean, I'm sure there's better ways to go about all of this, but well, in the meantime, I'm just kind of stuck running around trying to fit in and figure out what to do. Now let's have another look inside the tenement. That place was actually pretty interesting. Mm. Okay, I'll take a splurt. Uh, maybe I can, maybe I can make some money becoming a spokesman for good old splurt. Uh, even through the game, I feel like I have to choke it down. Oh wow, we're actually in like the deep basement of the tenement. Uh, even these are actually, I think these are actually rented rooms. Yeah, we do not want to leave ourselves in the dark. Oh wait, this isn't the same building I've been in before. What is... Okay, I am so glad that I saw this before this is over. This whole run-down, decrepit place. Somehow even worse than the standards set by the rest of what we've seen. 
And right in the heart of the grime, who else should I encounter but the familiar face of Morco? This game's still got that spirit. Listen, we can hear the sounds of, uh, of tenants snoring in the units that aren't completely blocked off, or maybe there are people in the blocked off ones for all I know. I'm just here scrounging for whatever I can get because I'm in as desperate of a situation as them. This reminds me so much of the apartments from, like, Courage the Cowardly Dog. You know, those ones where he gets uh, sent to the big city out to do some errands. Uh, and he just feels, like, so unsafe the entire time. But you gotta do what you gotta do in this. Who just leaves an entire stack of coins on the couch like that? That's the unrealistic thing about this game, is that you can actually find stuff, because everyone else would be doing the same thing as me. Nordmark Water Services. Oh hey, I just got the achievement for Get Rid of Smoking Addiction. You know what? Maybe there is, uh, maybe there is salvaging this save yet. Uh, and like I said, if you guys have any advice for me, I am totally open to revisiting this game sometime in the future, but for now, I think I've got a split. Once again, thank you so much to the developers for providing me with the Steam key for this game. That, that felt so cool to have Senpai notice me like that. I don't know how this game flew under my radar. It's actually been out for a few years and was only recently revamped. I don't know what the changes are, but all I know is that the devs clearly care a whole lot. And while I'm aware that this video isn't really a good representation of what's going on here gameplay-wise, I hope it's been a nice little preview for the vibe that it seems to be attempting to create. Because, I don't know, it's just so unique in that regard, and so unique in its choice of mechanics, and the combination of those mechanics, that I really feel like there's something special here, and I just need to get that pickaxe and start digging for it. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. And also, if you if you like the vibe of this, definitely try Infra. It's an amazing game, and it is much, much easier to get into.